Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Juan Alfonso. How are you? Fine. How is your family in Italy? Yes, Fine. Toscana, Toscana, por parte de mi papá. Nice. Mi and... papá era italiano y se vinieron en, bueno, una parte de mi familia se vino en el uh -huh. 42, ah, en 1942, okay. y se establecieron aquí por las 5 de noviembre. Long time ago, right? Yes. Entonces mi papá era era ebanista, eh, mi papá ah, hacía ataúdes. Wood, wood. trabajaba con madera y ataúdes, right? Sí, exacto. Uh -huh, okay. Entonces, interesting. Yo voy, voy, voy para, quiero ver el 20 de diciembre me voy para Italia. But voy per a los años. Permanent o No, no. Tourist. Oh, a nice. visitar a mi familia. En by, en by, envidia Juan Alfonso. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That's beautiful. Come on. It's, it's a, such a experience, Italy, right? But uh, Toscana is a part of Florence. Es no. como, es una, es como una región de Florencia. Ah, ok. Una región de Florencia. Es como, por decirlo aquí, Cujatancingo, mexicano. Mexicano, ajá, uh -huh. I understand. Es parte de la región norte. But of course, it's... it's Big, right? It's very big, I imagine. Teacher, es inmenso, indescriptible. Se pierde la mirada con las tierras y principalmente primavera. Lastimosamente yo no puedo ir en primavera por mi trabajo, pero eh, eh, primavera sí es algo soñado. Ok. Miedos, hay mucha producción de olivo. I imagine. Please, eh, when you go, bring eso, a, a bottle of wine. <laughs> Ah, that, yes. that, that's what I did when I went to Italy. I, I brought a, a bottle of wine to my father. Um, ah, okay. From, but I, I bought it in Rome because I was in Rome for 20, sí. 20 days. 20 days? Uh -huh. And one day we went to Florence. Ah, okay. To visit, you know. Uh, Parque, the, di Flo di Fiori, uh, Parque di Fiori is muy famoso. Es una, mm. una pla plaza de las flores. Está el museo de Leonardo da Vinci. Está. Eh, hay, un monu, hay una plaza que se llama Miguel, Miguel Angelo. Ok, interesting. Yes, I only remember the museum of the Uffizi, only. Ah, sí. The Uffizi, yes. Very interesting, mi, right? Mi familia es campesina. Por parte de mi papá, ellos se, se dedican a cultivar olivo y venden el olivo. Interesting. La, para hacerlo ya, lo venden a las compañías que procesan ya el olivo y vendemos olivo artesanal y queso de cabra. Ok, interesting. <laughs> Very good. It's I another guess. life, Juan Alfonso. It's another life, right? Sí. So, eh, maybe eh, someday that you go, we can go together, right? <laughs> mis hijos eh, de mi primer matrimonio allá viven. Ok. Eh, ya tienen... Ocho años de estar viviendo allá. Yes, I remember when I was in the bus, they, they, they used to say, la próxima fermata, la fontana de la termine. Ah, sí, bueno. La próxima fermata, la termine. Sí. La, la piacha de la novona. La, la piacha de la novona, eso es famoso. <laughs> yes. Ok, thank you. Good experience. One of these days we can talk in... Ok. By, yes. by WhatsApp, cuando right? Guste, Alfonso. Cuando, cuando usted guste, teacher. Excelente. Cuando usted am, guste. Y, y allá of... tiene, mire, allá tiene, en la Toscana tiene su familia que lo puede recibir con mucho gusto. Excelente. <laughs> If someday I, I recollect the money, <laughs> I promise I, I will contact you, right? I will copy teacher, your, your name teacher, and your telephone number, right? Mm -hmm. Teacher, Volaris. 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 Compañía okay. Volaris están haciendo buenos combos. Y, y Ibérica también. Ok. Excellent, Juan Alfonso. And we can take Rolando, Victor, Ana María, everybody in the group. <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Juan Rolando. Alfonso. Juan Alfonso is uh, Italian, you know. <laughs> One question, Juan Alfonso. Yes, Rolando. Uh, my name is in Italiano. Uh, ah, mamma mia. 
Es que eh, un, un compañero me dice, un compañero me dijo que allá no hay Rolando, es lógico, no. sino que solo hay Roseto. Roseto Campos. Sí, así me dicen a mí, Roseto. Oh, okay. Roseto. Pero, sí, pero yo sabía que hay Rosato. ¿verdad? Es que Rosato es, eh, bueno. Sí. No, Rosato es apellido. Sí. Last, Last name. name, ¿verdad? Last name. Sí, es más, se traduce igual. No, ¿verdad? Roseto, sí. Roseto es, sí, es Rosato. Es similar. Sí. Oh. Me, gusta, hey. me gusta el italiano, me gusta. Italian, Después del de yeah. inglés vamos ahí. The after <laughs> the English, we go to, to Italian, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Listen, sí. la ragazza mangiare la pizza, mangiare el, el, pomodoro, el, el pomodoro. De pomodoro es tomate. Ah, de pomodoro. De pomodoro. Pero, bueno, la vela, mangiare oh, la, el pomodoro, sí. mangiare sí, oh. O oh, la, la, oh, oh, la bella ragazza. La bella sí. ragazza, mangiare. Rodrigo, mangiare la pizza, Rodrigo. Ya, yeah, <ríe> mangiare la gelato. pizza. Sí, <ríe> Madonna. Ah, bene. Ah, Madonna. Rodrigo, parlare italiano. Rodrigo, ah, parlare. Capisci. <ríe> grazie, capisce, grazie, capisce. Rodrigo, grazie. Molto grazie. Molto piace. <ríe> Molto, molto piace. piace. Molto piace, Rodrigo. Molto piace. We're going to learn Italian with Juan Alfonso and in English with the teacher, right? <laughs> Good, that's it, right? Hey, Alejandro, welcome. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. How are Hi. you? I'm fine, thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Okay, good. Now we're going to start with the class. And today we have, we're going to work in groups again, right? But before we're going to, going to watch the the platform right in the video uh, hey silvia hello hello teacher congrats congratulations eh? nice yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you you have your name in in silvia roxana robles palasca mana the full name right yes <laughs> if anybody have a question si alguien todavía dudaba right she's silvia <laughs> yes. okay thank no you question. silvia no <laughs> questions Good, now let's start with the platform and uh, let me see over here. Okie dokie, let's start here, over here, right? We are going to make a little review of the conversation, who is she? Uh, because I pay attention in, I need you pay attention in the participle, right? But before to start with checking the participles and, and the prepositions, I will explain, right, what is a participle, right? In English, right? Well, uh, in English we have, the base, the base form of a verb, right? The base form, we have the, the simple past, Simple past, the present participle, and the past. Okay, give me a second over here. The past participle, right? The past participle over here. Past participle, okay, good. Uh, the base form, for example, uh, Rodrigo, give me give me one example of a verb, right? Regular or irregular? Any verb, Rodrigo, whatever. Uh, the microphone, Rodrigo, the microphone. Uh, to drive. Drive, right, thank you, drive. thank you. Yeah. Drive is an irregular verb, right, irregular. So drive, the past tense is drove. Drove. Mm -hmm. The present participle, listen, the present participle is driving. You know, according to the rule, we eliminate the E, right? And then we are ING. So we say driving, right? And the past participle is driven. Okay. Now, uh, 
today we are going to use this form. Look, the the present participle. In the in the book, well, in the in the platform, excuse me, you are going to see that they say only participle, participle, participio, participio. But uh, they refer to the present participle because we also have the past participle, right? That is used for the present perfect. Talking about the present perfect, the next uh, week we are going to check the present perfect, right? That is one of the most, I like the present perfect, right? But it's, it's, it's difficult, especially to learn the, the past participle form of the verb, right? Especialmente aprenderse de memoria todas las formas participantes. Eh, los verbos en participio, right? It's, it's difficult sometimes, but that's another topic, right? Now, the parts, right? And also, we're going to learn about preposition, right? You know the preposition, right? In, uh, with, to, etc., etc., right? Okay, so we are going to learn, right, how to make sentences using the participles, right, and the preposition, right? Pay attention in the conversation again, and I need you, you check when you have a participle and when we have preposition, right? Okay, please pay attention. Here we go. To meet her. Wait a minute. Have you back? In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Okay, identify participles and prepositions. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Yeah. Now, uh, what is the purpose to use participles? Just give me a second. To use participles and to use uh, prepositions, right? How to, to use participles and prepositions in, uh, in this conversation, right? The idea is to identify, identify people in certain circumstances, right? In a party, in, in the market, in your house, in a public place, etc. in a class, for example, right? In an English class, right? Uh, for example, I can say, who is Rolando Campos? He's the man wearing a cap, right? Who is Rodrigo Gonzalez, for example, right? He is the, the man with, uh, wearing glasses, okay? Or he's the man with, with mustache, right? Mustard, right? Okay, so you identify people using this, right? Now let's see. Let's go to to this uh, example, right? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses? So notice that I say the woman, right? It's a noun, and after the noun we use the participle wearing, right? And then the complement, right? Now, in the next one, we say, um, she's the tall one in, preposition in, jeans, right? Okay? The tall one. She's standing near the window. So standing is, you know, the, the, the part of it, right? Now, we are going to see the video, right? And we're going to check the use of uh, participles and, participles and, and, and prepositions. But before to go to that, let me see. We have commentaries for this video. Oh, yes, Silvia Robles. Which, what, which, which one is she? She is Maggie, right? Mm, that's okay. She is Maggie, right, Silvia? Okay, Rosa, 
uh, which one is he? He he is the man. He is the man wearing sweater and blue. No, is the man wearing sweater and blue jeans? No, he is the very short and heavy man. You have to use the the the, the noun, right, Rosa? Okay, good. So a few commentaries, but now let's go to the video. Pay attention, please. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Hello again. In this session, we will understand a participle. Okay, let me explain, right? Let me explain. So here we have the verb wearing and talking, but the question is, are they verbs? No, they are not verbs. We can classify them as adjectives. In this context, listen, they are adjectives. Then you say, well, what? Yes, because they are qualifying or they are describing the noun that is next to them. For example, the men. And the man that is uh, tall, the man that is big, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we don't we don't say big, we don't say tall. We say the man wearing a green glass. So so we're describing the man using a participle, right? And then which one is Raúl? He's the one talking. So I'm describing the one. The one is a noun, right? So I'm describing the one using talking, right? And pay attention that the participles are next to the noun they are describing, right? Los paris, participios están a la par del nombre que ellos están describiendo, right? For example, here we're describing the man, right? And here the one, right? Something similar happened with the preposition, right? He's the woman with, and then the prepositions act like adjectives. Actúan como adjetivos, aunque no, no son adjetivos, right? Esa es la función que tiene. They're describing the noun. Están describiendo el nombre que está a la par aquí. Right? The woman with short black hair. Right? The tall one in jeans. The people next to the wind. The ones on the couch. Okay? And other thing that I want you to notice that you can say who is or which one. is the same. If you want to say which one, okay. No problem. Who is the same. Who are, which ones, no problem. So you can use both, right? Both. Okay, now uh, that we have example, right? I will give you some hints, algunas clave, right? So you can, uh, you can describe, right? Uh, let's say, for example, uh, let's use Silvia. Sorry, Silvia, we're going to use you like, like a model, right? And then I will ask, who is Silvia? And you're going to say, she is uh, the woman. Let's suppose Silvia is next to the door, right? Next to the door, right? Okay, the woman next to the door, right? Now, I will ask, let me see, uh, Irma. Help me, Irma. Now, I want you to check, please, uh, Silvia, and, and I will ask you, Irma. Who is Silvia? She's the woman 
the woman. Uh -huh. But I, I can Next see one. Silvia. No, you cannot see Silvia. No la puede ver a Silvia. <laughs> Subo un poquito y bueno, en mi pantalla está más arriba, <laughs> Silvia. Eh, pero solo estamos pretendiendo que está la parte de la puerta, Irma. Solo es un ejemplo, solo, yes. solo imagínense que está la parte de la puerta, ¿ok? So again, who is Silvia, Irma? She is the woman uh, who stayed uh, next to? Next to the door. Next to the door. Good, that's it, right? Now, let me see another example, right? Uh, let's imagine that Victor is wearing, um, let me guess, Victor. You are wearing a, a white t-shirt, aren't you? No t-shirt. No. I'm uh, wearing glasses. Glasses. Okay, glasses. Good. Now, help me, Alejandro. Uh, you are going to use wearing glasses, and you're going to be, you're going to use the men, right? The men. In this case, we're talking about Victor, right, Alejandro? Okay, Alejandro. Who is Victor? He's a man wearing, uh, let me see, wearing glasses. Glasses, correct. He's the man wearing glasses, right? Okay. Now, Juan Alfonso, uh, I need you, let me see, we're going to, we're going to imagine, uh, imagine that Ana Maria, for example, right? Ana Maria uh, is wearing today a dress, right? She's wearing a dress, right? Now, uh, Juan Alfonso, I will ask you, and then you, you're going to say in, the preposition in, and then dress, right? In dress, okay? And you're going to say is the, the tall, we're going, I don't know, Ana Maria, I suppose you are tall, right? The tall woman, right? And she's wearing this. No okay. teacher. No, no. <laughs> okay, it's a supposition. Right? <laughs> no, because I cannot say short woman. No, no, tall woman, right? <laughs> okay, Juan Alfonso. Yes. Okay. Ready? Now, Juan Alfonso, who is Ana Maria? Repeat, teacher. Who is Ana Maria? I will give you a hint. Le voy a dar las claves. She is tall. Right, she's a woman, of course, and she is wearing a dress. So you're going to use the preposition in, right? In. Okay, now again, Juan Alfonso, who is Ana Maria? She woman. She is the woman. She is she's the, the woman. tall woman. Mm -hmm. She is the tall woman. In. And in the. The dress in dress, okay. <laughs> She's the tall woman in dress, right? Okay. Uh, now let me see who's going to help me. Adonai, please. Uh, let's describe Claudia. Claudia Castro, right? Adonai. So you're going to say, teacher, she... yo voy ingresando ahorita. No ah, había okay. No problem. Está. So, so I'm sorry, Adonai. I'm sorry. Uh, entonces preste atención al ejemplo y después lo voy a preguntar a usted. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, Brenda, please. I need you to describe Claudia Castro, right? You're going to describe Brenda Claudia, right? Now, let's, let's imagine something about Claudia. Claudia is on her sofa in this moment, right? She's having the class. Claudia is having the class on the sofa, right? Okay. And she is the... She is a slim, right? Claudia is delgada. Claudia is delgada. So she is this, this, the thin woman, listen, the thin woman on the sofa, right? Okay. Okay? Um, now, okay, wait. Who is Claudia? She is the woman um, in... She's the woman thin? She's the thin woman. She's the thin woman on the couch. On the sofa. Well, the couch is the same, right? In the uh, on the couch. <laughs> on the couch. Okay, very good. Now, um, Rosa, please. 
I need to describe, uh, Rosa, you're going to describe uh, Alex, Alejandro, sorry. Yes? Okay. okay. You're going to describe Alejandro. And Alejandro is talking to me in this moment. Alejandro is talking to the teacher, right? Talking to the teacher. And uh, you can say he's the man or you can say he's the one, right? Understand? And you're going to use a participle, but no a preposition. You're going to use a participle. Okay. Who is the man? No, sorry. Who is, <laughs> who is Alejandro? Who is Alejandro? He's the man. Uh-huh. Talking to teacher. Talking to teacher or talking to the teacher, right? Good. That's it, right? And you can add something, right? He's the intelligent man. <laughs> Talking to, to the teacher, right? Okay. Or you can say, he's the Barcelonista man. So, okay. Ah, no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Now, you no, see. Come on, teacher. Oh, oh, Alejandro, please. <laughs> Mire, perdimos hace poco 3 a 0, pero eso no, eso no quiere decir que ya acabó el Barça. <laughs> Real <Okay>. Madrid. <laughs> Real Madrid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Now, eh, so there are two ways to, to describe, in this case, uh, people, right? To identify people in, in a house, in a family, or in public places, right? We can have two forms, using participles and using preposition, right? I don't know if you have any extra question. Yes, sir, yo tengo una pregunta. Okay, tell me, tell eh, me, tell me. Podríamos tener alguna oración donde podamos tener al mismo tiempo participio y preposiciones al mismo tiempo. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Yes, I guess it's possible, right? Let me see. Uh, who is Rolando? He's the man talking to the teacher in Jean. No, but let me see. The problem is that <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I'm not saying that uh, if, if it is the teacher or, or Rolando who, who is going. Let me, let me see. Let me ask, answer this, right? Before. Ya le contesto, solo déjeme contestarle esta pregunta. Okay. He is the man. Yes, like this. First, the preposition. He is the man in jeans talking to the teacher, right? Okay. He is the man in jeans talking to the teacher. Okay. Now, other example. She is the woman wearing glasses next to the window huh? you see it's possible yes we can make a combination right okay, everything is possible don't know. everything you. is possible in english good who, who were asking me quien me estaba haciendo otra pregunta por ahí una chica escuché hello quien me iba a hacer una pregunta come on girls quien me iba a hacer una pregunta sin pena ok no, teacher, no era pregunta, sino para eh, decir un ejemplo. De... Ah, ok, please, tell me, tell me. No, pero ya lo dijo usted, el de wearing, oh. wearing a green shirt in next to the window. Ok, me adelanté, sorry, Rosa. <laughs> ok, good. So, eh, any extra question? Come on. This topic is not easy. Este tema no está fácil. It's not easy, right? So, you can make questions. A la hora del, del examen, pues... Necesito que, que entienda, ¿verdad? So, please, questions. I like questions, come on. Pregunten, pregunten, pregúntale, pregúntale. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, Rolando is laughing, right? You remember Eugenio Derbez, right? <laughs> pregúntale, uh, check, pregúntale. Check, check forever. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Good. So now, if no questions, we are going to work in groups, right? We are going to work in groups. But before to work in groups, I want to, to share something to you. Give me a second. Give me a second. I will, I will check this. Uh, just give me a second. Yes, here, right? Here, I have the... Now... Uh, I will share this 
right? And I need you capture the, the image. Right? Necesito que me haga una captura de pantalla. Todos los que pueden hacerlo, ¿verdad? Les voy a mostrar okay. ahorita. No a capturar, right? Ok, that, right? Ahorita, hágame la captura de pantalla de esta, de esta imagen, right? No la tengo. Ah, ok. Yes, can you see it? ¿La pueden ver? Yes. Yes, right? Yes, yes. Van. Okay. Excellent. Cool. Háganle una captura ahí. Claro, es el top. Sí, Yes. Ah, ahorita sí. Ahorita sí la puedo ver. Ya, yeah, ok. Ahí me avisan. Tell me. Ok. Yes, ok. Everybody got it? Brenda, you got it? Yes, I got yes. it. Ok, good. Silvia, yes, right? Irma? Yes. yes. Ok, Claudia Castro, yes, you got it? Si no más... Yes, hacer... yes, yes. ok, thank you, Claudia. Eh, Claudia Ramos. Claudia? Yes. Yes, yes, ok, good. Now listen, si no hagamos lo, lo, lo yes, práctico, ¿verdad? Lo, lo, ok, thank you. Lo que hizo Silvia, ¿verdad? Con el, con el celular, le tomó foto a la pantalla de la computadora ahí. <laughs> good, yes, good, yes. Silvia, excellent. Mm -hmm. I like it. Very good. Ok, now, what are we going to do? We are going to make three groups, right? And we are going to give the solution to this. If you want, you can assign a secretary in the group or everybody can copy the answer, right? It's not necessary you copy the sentence. It's only the answer. I need only the answer. And in number one, we have the example, right? Then you're going to make two, three, four, and five, right? Two, three, four, and five. Understand? And here we have the example, right? Clark is the tall guy, el chico alto, right? He's wearing a button-down shirt, right? In, in cargo oh, pants. Clark is the guy. Notice I eliminate the period. Eliminate the period. And I say, he's the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Right? So you're going to make the same with this, right? There are two sentences. So you're going to mix, put together the two sentences using participles and using preposition. Right? Understand? Right. right. Okay, good. Now let's make yeah. the group, right? Let's make the groups. There we go. Good. So group number one, Claudia Ramos, Rosa Suyapa, Silvia Roxana, Vicky, Mar Vicky Martín. Ah, que tiene dos. Dos mobile, dos eh, devices, right? Ok, good. And group two, Adonai, Ana María, Brenda, Irma, Rodrigo, right? And group three, Alejandro, Claudia Castro, Juan Alfonso, Rolando, right? And Rolando. Ok, give me a second. Ok, good. Ready? Here we go. Hello, Claudia. Ah, ok.
No, yo ya me conecté un poquito tarde y no logré escuchar la explicación. Va a de unir, este, entiendo yo que después del punto es unir las oraciones. Hello, hello. Eh, ¿Quieren que les comparta la imagen para que les dé otra explicación rapidita? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, vamos yes. a compartir. Ahí estamos. ¿Pueden ver las oraciones? Yes, mm -hmm. teacher. Yes. Okay, look, look. There are two sentences, right? Hay dos oraciones, yes. ¿sí? La primera es, Clark is the tall guy. Ahí termina. Y luego, uh -huh. y ese, este he es el mismo Clark, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. He's yes. wearing a bottom down shirt. And a, todo esto que está aquí, pues, es complemento. Puede decir pupusas, piscucha, cual, lo que sea. Eso no importa. Lo que nos interesa es que aquí aparezca o un presente participio, que es un verbo con ing, o, un, o una preposición, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En la número tres, Aquí está una preposición, miren, in. ¿Sí? In. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Y en las de, bueno, solo esa creo que es. Las demás aparecen, miren, talking, sitting y playing. Todas las demás play. son, son participios, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok, y, en, y en, solo en la tres aparece una preposición. Entonces, lo que van a hacer ustedes es eliminar el punto y unir las dos oraciones. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Acá, por ejemplo... Puse Clark y eh, ya cuando llego al, 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 al presente participio, ya elimino he is y el punto, ¿ves? Y lo uno, ¿ves? Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Yes. Entonces, o sea, mismo... dicho que vamos a poner, por ejemplo, Adam y Luis. Ajá, the are, good... The good couple, are the good couple. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Le, le tendríamos que quitar el, ¿El are. Punto? No. Ajá, el, Ajá punto el punto y, y el they, they are, esto, ah, todo esto que está aquí they are. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Sí, vaya, okay. porque recuerden que el, el participio o la preposición, en este caso in, ¿verdad? Está describiendo el nombre, ¿y cuál es el nombre? Ya les digo cuál es el nombre, the good looking couple, quiere decir la pareja atractiva, ¿verdad? Aquí, uh -huh. the young girl, la chica joven, the attractive woman. The serious looking boy, dice el chico que se ve serio. Esta parte, esto, esto es lo que me va a describir. El participio lo que me hace es describir ese nombre, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, acá, vaya. Clary is the tall guy, dice. The tall guy. Y este wedding me está describiendo al nombre. ¿Cuál es el nombre? The tall guy, el, el chico alto. The tall guy. Ajá. ¿Qué estoy diciendo del chico alto? Que él está describiendo vistiendo una camisa y un pantalón así, ya sabes, ¿ok? Entonces, mm. el, el uh, participio me describe el nombre, este, ¿sí? Uh -huh. ¿Ok? ¿Ya más okay. o menos entendimos? Sí. Yes. Teacher, okay, y, yes. y, esa, y yes. esa que lleva la preposición in, ¿ahí qué tendríamos Igual. que hacer? Porque la única que dice usted que es diferente. Es diferente porque lo único que van a hacer es eliminar el punto y quitarle chis. Ah, dejaríamos siempre in. Ah, o sea que van a comenzar, vaya, así de sencillo, ¿va? para que no se pierdan. Okay. El, el, el participio debe estar a la par del nombre que está describiendo. En este caso, the good looking couple, ah. the, warm, the attractive woman y the serious looking boy. Esa debe estar a la par, uh -huh. a la par. Ah. Y la preposición también, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, el, la cinco sería... AG is the SJ? serious looking, SJ is the serious looking boy. Y ya le, le eliminaríamos el his y le dejaríamos, el, y el punto y le dejaríamos playing a video game. Excellent, Así. very good. Yes, ah, do okay. it, do it, please. Ok, good. Yes. Entonces, lo, la, lo dejo solo entonces. Sí, thank you, teacher. Yes. Ok, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Luis son eh, una pareja que se ve bien y están hablando con Tom. Así sería. Ok. Hello, hello, ¿Cómo vamos? 
Ya, te, ya, ya terminamos. Estamos comenzando. <risa> ya la hicimos, teacher, pero sí tenemos bastantes dudas con respecto Vaya, a este eh, tema. Si quieren, les comparto para, para que lo veamos juntos. ¿sí? Vaya, les explico. Lo que vamos a hacer aquí es unir dos oraciones, ¿sí? Y vamos a ir describiendo un nombre, óigame bien, un nombre usando o, o ya sea participio o preposición, ¿sí? Vaya, en este caso, en la, en la oración ejemplo, el nombre es The Tall Guy, el chico alto, ¿sí? Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros es eliminar el punto y eliminar todo lo que esté aquí, ¿ve? He is, todo esto lo vamos a eliminar. Y vamos a poner el participio o la preposición a la par del nombre. Ahí está la clave, a la par del nombre, ¿sí? Aquí, por ejemplo, Clark is the tall guy wearing, miren, el participio lo pusieron a la par del tall guy, ¿ve? Y ya suena, suena bonito, ya ve. Clark is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and a, car, and a and cargo pants. ¿Sí? Bueno, ahora vamos al siguiente. Eliminamos el punto, teacher. Correcto. ¿Y cuál es, cuál es el participio en la oración 2 o la preposición? Good ¿Cuál looking. Sería? Sorry. Talking. Good talking, talking. Talking. Ah, talking, perdón. Talking. ¿Y cuál es el nombre? El nombre que vamos a calificar, porque recuerden que aquí la función del participio y la preposición es calificar, está haciendo la función de un adjetivo, ¿verdad? ¿A quién califica talking? Adam y Luis. No, 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 pero, pero aparece un nombre después de, como aquí va. Aquí no, no escribimos. No, aquí no describimos a Clark, describimos a the tall guy, ¿sí? Yeah. Y aquí quién sería? The good looking couple. The good looking couple. Good looking couple. Sí, entonces, simple y sencillamente vamos a poner el, el, el participio a la par de ese nombre. En la segunda aparece un una preposición, ¿ve? ¿Sí? Entonces, vamos a poner la preposición en la parte de the young girl, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ok. Vaya, hagamos la, las, las cinco, hagamos, ¿qué les parece? ¿Quién la quiere hacer? ¿Quién la quiere hacer? Mi teacher. Ok, please. AJ is the serious looking boy playing a video game. Excelente. Uh -huh. Ya la tienen, ok. Do it, please. Hagan las demás y, le, y copian todas las respuestas, ok. Lo okay, dejo entonces. Teacher. Voy a ir a otra sala. The good looking. Lo voy a poner así. Ya escribí good tres. Looking. They are the good looking. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya terminamos? ¿Did you finish? The... Ah, ganas, teacher. <risa> Les, voy are... a Les voy a compartir para que hagamos. Looking couple. Vaya, eh, si se fijan, hay dos oraciones, two sentences, right? Y lo que vamos a hacer es unir las dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Ok. Básicamente, el participio el, y el, la preposición aquí nos sirve como adjetivo. Vamos a calificar un nombre. ¿Y cuál es ese nombre? Acá, por ejemplo, en la 1, el nombre es The Tall Guy, el chico alto. En la 2 es The Good Looking Couple. En la 3 es... The young girl. En la cuatro es The attractive woman. Y en la cinco es Looking boy. The, the, serious, the serious looking boy. The serious looking boy. The serious looking boy. The serious looking boy. That's it, right? Permítame que tengo un mensaje. Uh, ok. Hay una persona que no ha sido asignada, pero ya, ya voy a salir. Solo lo termino aquí de explicar. Eh... Ok, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es poner el participio a la par de ese nombre. Así de sencillo. Poner el participio a la par del nombre o poner la preposición a la par de ese nombre. ¿sí? Acá, por ejemplo, The Tall Guy. 
eliminamos el punto y todo lo que está aquí y encontramos que el participio es wedding, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. wedding lo ponemos a la par de the tall guy. Quiere decir que wedding está calificando a the tall guy, ¿sí? Miren, aquí eliminamos el punto y eliminamos el he is, ¿sí? Vaya, para, para ver si me la han, han entendido, vamos a hacer las cinco, ¿sí? ¿Quién quiere hacer las cinco? Bueno, lo que yo he entendido es eh, AC Ajá. is the serious looking boy, boy. playing Play. a, eh, a, a video? video game. Excellent, very good. That's it, así es. Yes. Oh, ok, ya tiene la clave, entonces. Eh, los dejo solitos. Cuando terminen, sí. pues regresamos todos juntos. Ok. okay. Entonces, en, en las cinco Entonces, solo le borró el... Hello, Lorena. Lorena, hello. ¿Qué tal, Lorena? Hi. Lorena, hello. Eh, le está fallando el micrófono, me imagino, ¿verdad, Lorena? Brenda, el, ah, sí, le escucho, Lorena. A, a lo lejos le escucho. Ah, sí, me falla. Brenda también, ¿verdad? Este, voy a intentar asignarlas a un grupo. Permit, déjeme un segundito, vamos a intentar asignarlas. Vaya. Lorena se va a ir a la sala 1. Ok, y Brenda, Brenda no la ubico, déjeme ver, Brenda. Yo estaba en la dos, dicho. ¿Y qué pasó? Se me salió. Sí, no sé qué pasó. No sabe, pero sí entendió el ejercicio, Brenda. Sí, ya lo terminamos. Ah, ah vaya. Entonces, sí, porque ya no la puedo asignar, fíjese. No sé qué, cómo hacer aquí. Me, bueno, me salgo y vuelvo a entrar no, quizás. No, 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 no. Ahí qué se voy a, voy a llamar a todos, ¿verdad? Vamos a darles un minuto para que nos reunamos todos, porque ya habían terminado. Aquí dejamos, sí. ya, ya vienen todos. Okay. Okay. Ok, creo que ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, ok, estamos todos ya, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, uh, let's do it together. One by one, right? Please, number two, uh, group number one, please, group number one. Yes, teacher. Okay, give me give me the answer, please, for number two. Uh, Adam and Luis are the good-looking co co couple. 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 They're talking to Tom. Okay, good. Now the answer, please. Ahora la respuesta. Adam and Luis are the good-looking couple. Talking to Tom. Excellent. Thank you very much. You see? And I repeat, right? Voy a repetirle lo que les expliqué en los grupos. El talking, o el participio en este caso, se convierte como un, como un adjetivo, ¿sí? Que está calificando a un nombre. En este caso es the good looking couple. 
¿Qué tiene de especial ese, ese The Good Looking Cop? Eh, tiene de especial que está hablando con Tom, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que lo hace diferente, ¿sí? Es como que, digamos, The Good, couple, the good Looking Couple are happy. La palabra happy lo describe, pero en este caso no usamos happy. Usamos un presente participio, ¿verdad? Que es talking, ¿ok? Good. Eh, group number two, please. El grupo número dos, ¿me contesta la tres, please? Number three. Line is the young girl in a, in a stripper t-shirt and blue jean. Ok. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lena. Perdón. Perdón que me ría, pero... Eh, es que se escucha stripper teacher. Yes, tuvimos un, ahí un... No, no. Ay, a mí también me pasó teacher. A mí también me pasó, me dio a risa. Nos pasó. ¿Verdad? Sí, pero sí, no es mala sí. intención, ¿verdad? No. Ah, ya van tres teacher. Pero es que fíjense bien, bien, es teacher. Teacher. Si dice teacher, está refiriéndose a mí. Stripper t-shirt. No, stripper. <ríe> Qué bárbaro. Okay. Sorry. Stripe. Stripe. Son rayas, ¿verdad? Stripe. Rayas. Uh -huh. Stripe t-shirt. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, good. But the sentence is perfect. Congratulations. Brenda, the sentence is perfect. Good. Ok. Uh, ok. The, the young girl in stripe t-shirt, right? Good. Now, number four, please. Group number three, please. Group number three. Algún chico del grupo Jessica tres. Jessica is... Mm -hmm. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's... Sitting... To the left of Tony. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the answer. Ahora la respuesta. As, as Jessica is the attractive woman. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Okie dokie. Very good. Congratulations. And the last one, number five, right? Alguien del grupo uno también, please. Group number one. Alguien del grupo uno, please. Yo, teacher. Okay, please. Yeah. AG is the serious looking boy playing a video game. Excellent. Very good. That's it, right? Now, do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna duda sobre este tema, chicos? ¿O creen que les puedo hacer un examen ahí? El knowledge check, please. <laughs> The knowledge check, right? Okay, vamos al knowledge check y ahí terminamos la clase. Let me see. Um, Excuse me, teacher. Tell me, tell me, please. One comment. Yes. If, if I supreme that and I add... And is correct. Okay, let me see the context. Uh, and she's the woman. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't understand, Rodrigo. Can you give me one example, please, to to use? She's, she's the tall one, and she's wearing blue jeans. She's the tall woman. She's the tall and one. She's wearing, I guess it's logic. Yes. Yes, it's true. I, I believe it's logic. And she is, but in this context, when they, when, because it's a conjunction, Rodrigo, Rodrigo uh -huh. uh, uh, you make a new sentence. So you have two sentences. Yeah. Right? But when you use participles and when you use preposition, you make only one sentence. Understand? Yes. Okay. So it's possible. Correct. No problem. Okay. Good. Perfect. But the only uh, situation is, I repeat, that there are two sentences, no one. Understand? Okay. Okay, good. good. Thank you. And, and good example. Good question. Yeah. Thank you. Now let's go to the, to the, to the uh, knowledge check, right? And it says, right? Yes. Oops. 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 <laughs> Oops. Now, Clary is the tall guy. Ah. Oh. Clary is the tall guy. Wearing... Ya tiene la respuesta. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's the same. Um, no, aquí es Luz. Aquí es, pero cambiaron el nombre aquí nada más. Ok. Bueno. Hey. Nothing else to say, right? No, no hay nada más que decir. 
That, that, that's all. Eso es todo, amigos. <ríe> okay. Teacher, sin palabras. Sin palabras, sí. Creo que... No, pero, teacher, sí. Si, si quiere no. hacer una, adelante. Va, hagamos esta, pues. Hagamos esta. Mari is the beautiful girl. She's standing by the door, right? Mari is the beautiful girl standing by the door, right? So we're going to do something, right? We're going to create a sentence per student. We still have six minutes. Todavía no quedan seis minutos, right? We're going to make a sentence about Rodrigo, right? Volunteers. ¿Quién me quiere hacer una oración acerca de Rodrigo? Un voluntario nada más, right? Aquí lo ven a Rodrigo con, con sus audífonos, glasses. Eh, veo una puerta ahí, ¿verdad, Rodrigo? Uh, yes, it's the door. Uh -huh. eh, in front of the computer, también está enfrente de una computadora, right? Eh, está vistiendo camisa formal, ¿verdad, Rodrigo? Yes, yes, yes. ok. Formal, a formal shirt, right? Va, ahí tienen todas las pistas, ahí podemos hacer hasta 10 oraciones si quieren, ok? Volunteers. El pelo también un poco ondulado, ¿verdad? Curly hair. Curly, Curly no, hair. Eh, wavy, wavy. Wavy, wavy hair. Vamos, wavy ¿quién hair. se atreve? Blue eyes. Blue eyes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Blonde <laughs> hair. <laughs> Blonde. <laughs> ok, volunteers, come on. I will help you, yo les voy a ayudar. Volunteers. No, come on. Nobody? Vamos a ver. Vamos a. Rosa, Rosa. Help me, Rosa. Okay. okay I will give you the, the hint, right? Eh, Rodrigo is. And then you say. Um, the, Rodrigo is the intelligent man. Oh, excuse me. He, the intelligent, uh huh? Learning, uh, learning English. Perfect. And... That's it. Very good. The, the, Rodrigo is the intelligent man learning English. Excellent, Rosa. Congratulations. Ya ven que estaba fácil. Thanks. Okay, now we're going to describe Irma, right? Irma. Look. Excellent, Irma. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, Irma is wearing glasses. She has uh, shorter length. Es quiere decir pelo a la altura del, del hombro, right? Shorter length hair uh, it's uh, brown brown hair Irma yes right yes brown. Uh, I see you're tall yes. tall right mide como unos unos sesenta y ocho unos sesenta y nueve unos sesenta y nueve okay you're tall Irma you're tall I am 167, right? Soy más bajito que usted. Ok. Good. Eh, vamos a ver quién se atreve. ¿Quién se atreve a escribir a Irma? Caballeros, gentlemen. Nobody, come on. Alejandro, vamos a ayudarle a Alejandro, ok? Help me, Alejandro. Descríbame a Irma, please. Okay, let me see. Irma is. Irma is the woman. Ajá, pero démele un adjetivo, dígamele. Tall, intelligent, thin, thin. Is the intelligent. Beautiful. Ah, ok, listen. Wearing glasses. Wearing glasses. Is the intelligent, beautiful woman. Wearing glasses. Okay, good, good example. Thank you. Thank you. You see? And we have for the last example, right? Tenemos todavía uno más. And we finish, right? We're going to describe uh, Rolando. Yes, Rolando. We're going to describe. <laughs> Rolando is wearing a cap. Look, está usando una, una gorra, a cap, right? Wearing glasses, right? Uh, a polo shirt. Camisa polo, eh, ¿verdad, Rolando? No. No, no, no. It's like for a casual, a casual shirt. Yes. Casual. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Simón. Ok. No. Simón. <laughs> Simón. Simón. Ok. Uh, what else? 
He's next to the door, está a la par, eh, next to the wall, a la par de la pared. Hay como un montón de corazones, ¿verdad? En la pared. Ok, next to the wall, a la par de la pared, next to the wall. Next right? to the wall. Uh -huh. okay. Vamos a ver quién se atreve. Come on, guys, help me. Me, teacher. Ok, thank you, my salvation. <laughs> my salvation. Uh -huh. Please. Rolando is, is um, friendly uh -huh. uh, man. The friendly, friendly man. And uh, you share a cup. Wearing a, uh, wearing a cap. Uh, wearing a cap. Wearing a cap. Okay, that's it, um, right? Uh-huh, and? And, como dijo que era a la, a la par de la pared? And next to the wall. Next to the wall. Okay. Ahí contestamos la, la, la pregunta también de Rodrigo. Podemos usar and, ¿verdad, Rodrigo? Y ahí sí es una sola oración, yeah. Rodrigo. Ahí okay. sí es una sola oración, ¿verdad? Y también contestamos la pregunta a Donai, parece que nos preguntó eso, ¿verdad? Que si podíamos usar preposition y participle a la vez. Yes, teacher. Que Silvia resumió toda la clase en su oración. <laughs> ok. Good. So, class, thank you very much. Remember, tomorrow no clases. No clases. Tomorrow is... Well, okay. Next Monday. Party day. Let's go to the party. Ooh, party people, yeah. Friday off. <laughs> yes, beach, no classes. Beach, beach, day off. See you on Monday. Don't forget to finish the, the platform. No se les olvide terminar la sección 4. Ok, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ya tenemos que tener completas las cuatro secciones, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes. Bye bye. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.